Yep. How are you boys and girls? I greet you all uh, today in Jesus' name. I hope you had a super week. Um, yeah, we meet again. It's a wonderful time to share God's word. Um, I hope you don't miss the, call it the gist, what I want to say today. This, boys and girls, is going to be very important for you as you grow up speaking the truth. Okay, let's go to Jeremiah chapter 38. Jeremiah chapter 38. Um, our friend, remember um, last week, he, had, he was supposed to speak the truth again uh, to the king. Um, looks like the king was not listening. Jeremiah chapter 38. Father, we want to thank you for this time again today. Pray that you help us to hide your word in our hearts so that we may not sin against thee. I pray for every boy and girl who is listening that, Lord, help them to grow and to love you more and more. In Jesus' name, amen. Jeremiah chapter 38. Now, Shepatia, the son of Matan, Gedaliah, the son of Pashua, Jokal, the son of Shelemiah, and Pashua, the son of uh, Malkia, heard the words that Jeremiah had spoken to the people saying. He's speaking the truth because he's heard from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, he who remains in this city shall die by the sword, famine and by pestilence. But he who goes over to the Chaldeans shall live. His life shall be as a prize to him, and he shall live. Thus says the Lord, the city shall surely be given into the hands of the king of Babylonian army, which shall take it. Therefore the prince say to the king, please, let this man be put to death, for thus he weakens the hands of men of war. He's discouraging the, the soldiers and the hands of the people by speaking such words to them. For this man does not seek the welfare of these people, but their harm. So Jeremiah is telling them, give of Give in. Don't fight these Babylonians. Okay? Just allow them to take you and all will be well. You'll be able to live. So now these guys who were at the time senior government officials, they say, no, 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 king, this guy is discouraging the soldiers. We must kill him. So the king goes ahead and says, do whatever you want to do with this guy. Okay? Yeah, do what you, whatever you want. So what did they do? They took Jeremiah and threw him into a well. Okay? The Bible calls it cistern. So this is a place where they used to get water. But unfortunately, that place was just muddy. So it's like right down there. They just threw this guy and left him there. Now... Jeremiah is being punished for speaking the truth. He has heard a word from the Lord. Remember, God already had planned what he wanted to do with Jeremiah's life. Now he has told him something else that, tell the king this, tell the people this. And for telling the truth, they threw him into this well to die. Okay? So, it means telling the truth can also get you into trouble. But Jeremiah, it didn't, didn't matter to him what trouble he was going to go into as long as he had spoken the truth. It happened there was this guy called Ibed Melech, the Ethiopian. One of the eunuchs who was, this guy was from Ethiopia, <laughs> who was in the king's house, heard that they put Jeremiah into the dungeon this well. When the king was sitting 
at the gate of Benjamin, Ebed Melech went out to the king's house and spoke to the king, saying, My lord, the king, these men have done evil in all that they've done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they've cast into the dungeon, and he is likely to die from hunger in this place where he is. Well, so the king then says to Ebed Melech, get some 30 men and go and rescue Jeremiah. So Ebed Melech took the men with him and went into the house of the king under the treasure and took some there's some old cloth and rags and he let them down by the ropes into the dungeon to Jeremiah. So he's put, pulling all these old cloth which has made into a rope. Then Ebed Melech the Ethiopian said to Jeremiah, put these old cloth and rags on your armpits under the ropes. And Jeremiah did so. So he was rescued from that dungeon. Okay. So the story goes further. The king calls, Zedekiah calls Jeremiah and says, come here. Um, so in verse 14, then Zedekiah the king sent and had Jeremiah the prophet brought to him at the third entrance of the house of the Lord. And the king said to Jeremiah, I will ask you something. Hide nothing from me. Boys and girls, in short he said, Tell me the truth. Jeremiah said to Zedekiah, If I declare it to you, will you not surely put me to death? If I tell you the truth, are you not going to kill me? Oh, you're not going to listen to me. You're not going to take my advice. So Zedekiah the king swore secretly to Jeremiah, saying, As the Lord lives, who has made our very souls, I will not put you to death. Or oh, hand you over to these men who seek your life. Then Jeremiah said to the king, he told him the story again. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, of God of Israel. If you surely surrender to the king of the Babylon prince, the Babylon princes, then your soul shall live. This city shall not be burned by fire, and your house shall live. But if you do not surrender to the king of Babylon's princes, then this city shall be given into the hand of the Chaldeans. They shall burn it with fire and you shall not escape. Ooh, that is painful truth. Well, King Zedekia responded well, says to him, no, okay, don't go and tell everybody else. Um, uh, just tell them something different like he, he says when they ask you just say I informed the, the, the king about this 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 <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. boys and girls let me tell you don't lie if there's someone next to you say learn to speak the truth do not lie some of you know the ninth commandment. What does it say? That you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. That's in Exodus chapter 20. I think it's verse 16. You shall not bear false witness. In short, it says don't lie. Now, I don't know. Let me read you this story and put yourself in these in this shoes. Kate is a good friend of Petrus and Mike. Let's just give Petrus and Mike and call them Tatenda and uh, Tino. The boys have been caught breaking into a car and now have to appear in court. Kate has been called as a witness. She takes the oath on the stand. I promised to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This, boys and girls, you hear a lot. If you go to court, you pledge, you promise, you take an oath and say, I promise. <laughs> what I'm going to say is going to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. <laughs> the prosecutor asked her if she is, she is close friend to Tatenda and Tino. She says she is. Then he asked, 
you were out shopping with your mother on Friday the 7th um, and you saw the defendant break into the car and steal the radio and the mobile phone. Now, what do you think Kate will answer? What do you think she's going to say? She is before the judge. She has said, I'm going to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. <laughs> if she lies, she's going to be in prison. She needs to tell the truth. But T Tino and Tatenda are Kate's friends. So is she going to uh, betray the friends by telling the truth that she saw them steal the mobile phone and the car radio? That's kind of a dilemma, boys and girls, that you will find yourself in. Mom and dad are not home. You break a special glass, a special vase. By mistake, it drops, bang, it breaks. And then you know that your little brother or your little sister cannot talk. And guess what you say? When mom or dad comes back home, who did this? And you say, no, it's my little brother. <laughs> or it's my little sister. I did not do it. What are you doing? You are lying. You are not telling the truth. And guess who was watching you doing all that? Breaking the glass or whatever. God is there. Remember, God is everywhere. At school, if school is open, Something happens in the absence of the teacher in the classroom. Okay? Well, maybe somebody pushed the laptop by mistake and it fell. You are seeing all this. You know who has done it. The teacher walks in and the laptop is on the table. It has been put back. But he notices that the screen is cracked and he asks class who has done this i left my laptop looking okay but now it is this scratch or the, it is broken who did this boys and girls are you going to speak the truth let's say the teacher even goes further and says tell me who did this pointing at you. What are you going to do? When the whole class he says, nobody speaks. And some bullies say, nobody speaks. Whoever is going to get in trouble. Are you going to tell the truth? You know, boys and girls, this is something which I want to encourage you to learn very quickly while you are still growing up. To learn to tell the truth. We are in all kinds of problems today because people are not telling the truth. People are lying. For Jeremiah, he could not lie. He had to tell the truth. He had to say what God had told him. And telling the truth got him into that well, that dungeon. I am not saying when you speak the truth that oh, so and so broke the, your laptop, you're not going to get into trouble. You will. But if you don't speak the truth, you are going to have more problems too. Which of these men showed courage in speaking the truth? In Jeremiah chapter 13. Obviously it was both Jeremiah and Abedemelech. Who in our story were hurt by the truth as it worked out? Both Jeremiah and Zedekiah. Jeremiah landed in a dirty mud well and saw the people he saved lose their homes and go into captivity. Zedekiah experienced being captured and tortured as he refused to listen to God's truth. Now, who responded to truth in the right way? Of course, Abedemelech 
the African from Ethiopia knew it was going to imprison Jeremiah, so he acted courageously. Be bold. <laughs> Do not be afraid. Do not fear. Do not be discouraged. Boys and girls, when it comes to telling the truth, do not be afraid. Because if you do, if you learn to lie, not to speak the truth, you are going to get into trouble. There is going to be trouble. There is a lot of liars walking around the world today. And I want to say to you, don't be one of them. Learn to speak the truth. Obey God's law, which says, do not speak falsehood against your neighbor. That's lying. Speak the truth. Be a good witness. It doesn't matter. For though, when you, as you grow up, as God puts you in places to do what he has asked you to do, it's going to require you to speak the truth. How can you be a doctor and not speak the truth? Or a pastor and be a liar? Or a teacher and not learn to speak the truth? God is preparing you for a future, for what he wants to do with you. Like Jeremiah, he had a plan for him while he was in his mother's womb. God has a plan for you. One of the things I want to share with you boys and girls that very quickly let's learn to speak the truth and I know that fear is one of those things that prevent people from speaking the truth if I speak the truth I'll get into trouble Jeremiah did get into trouble choose to speak the truth choose to obey God's word boys and girls when we do things like that you know we grow as Christians. Let me tell you, I am 54 years old. I am married. I have to speak the truth to my wife. I have to speak the truth to my children. You have to learn right now. Because if you don't learn to speak the truth, many years down the road, you're going to grow to become this liar. So, Liar, 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 and you lie all over the place. It will get you to trouble. We are in trouble in the world today because there are many people who are not speaking the truth. There's nothing which is as wonderful in telling people what God has, God has said, telling the truth. Speak the truth, look at the person next to you and say, Learn to speak the truth. Tell them, Uncle Jeff is saying, speak the truth. Does not mean you won't get into trouble, but do not be afraid. Speak the truth. Jeremiah was not afraid. He was prepared to die in this dungeon for speaking the truth. It's important, boys and girls. Let's learn to speak the truth. Let's shout the truth. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. I'm going to pray. Father, I want to thank you for every boy and girl who was listening to me. I want to thank you, Lord, you have instructed us that truth will set us free. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I pray for every boy and girl who is listening. Father, teach them that they will be truthful people. They will be children that grow up just saying, I do not lie. I speak the truth. Pray that you help them. Pray they, that, Lord, you give them a wonderful week. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I hope you're okay, boys and girls. Um, we want to grow. We want to love Jesus more and more. There is one day we are going to be in heaven. We are going to be with Jesus. And liars are not going to be found in heaven. You are Christians. A Christian is supposed to speak the truth. You are supposed to be bold speaking the truth. Do not be afraid. 
Hallelujah. God bless you.